foundation and contouring video because your girl was looking a mess in the last one and y'all could have told me y'all could have been honest and be like girl you look i mean it came out okay but all them steps was not needed shantasia first thing you're gonna do i'm still using um it's an elf mineral infused primer and i put that all over my face this part has not changed i want to say that my skin combination i never told y'all it's kind of in the middle so like when i clean my face my face usually gets really really dry but after i moisturize i'm usually good up throughout the day except for around my mouth my around my mouth gets extremely dry so i'll try to make sure that i put enough primer um around my mouth because it kind of helps keep it moisturized and also, after I apply primer all over in this area, I usually set the primer right up in here with translucent powder because this part of my face, it gets so, 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 so oily. The translucent powder that I usually use is the Maybelline. And like I said, I apply it in these little corners with a wet um, sponge. And I set up in my smile lines as well because they show a lot too. And I don't like that. It's time to apply foundation. Now this foundation I have not used in forever. Like literally probably over a year now. And I'm honestly confused as to why I stopped. Either this wasn't used looking that good on me at the time. Or the foundation formula changed up. Either way. I will sleep on this foundation but it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and I am the shade 362 which is truffle so I take this shade and I apply a little bit on my hand because it comes out like a lot so you gotta be careful like that just like that it comes out a lot see like I try to be careful and I apply it generously all over my face using the same brush that I usually use which is this one it's the RT 200 brush and I generously take some foundation off my hand and I blot it all over my face T-Zones is usually under your eyes right here where your cupid's bro is your chin and the middle of your forehead I usually um, just apply it up in a little triangle, so to speak. And sometimes people usually put some on the center of their nose, but I don't really contour my nose like that, so I don't feel the need to do as such. So usually I take this part of my, um, my sponge and I just pat it. And I do stretch my face like this because it keeps it from creasing, in my opinion. I am going to take this Maybelline Fit Me Little Setting Powder, and it's the color D, which is um, number 35. And you're going to take it and put it directly in your little T-zones. As far as this goes, you're just gonna take a brush. I don't even know what I was doing with this brush. But this is an old BH Cosmetics brush from an old set. And if you have it, you know. Cause it comes in like a, um, this, it came in this. Oh my gosh, it came in this. But they discontinued it. It's not. It's nowhere on their website and nothing. And I feel like this is one of their favorite brush sets. So, BH, if y'all ever come across this video, bring it back. Um, use it. But with this brush, you're just gonna dust your face off.
Now it's time for contouring, which is literally my favorite part. Now that I got this new brush, that's a sculpting brush, just like this one, which is my old BH cosmetic brush. So I'm gonna use this brush on this side of my face to see how it looks. Well, I know how this one looks, but I wanna show y'all. I'm taking this Black Radiance palette, and it's the, um, this, it's the one that's medium to dark. And I'm gonna take this brown shade right here, and I'm gonna put it like right up under my cheekbones to define it a little more. But you're gonna pat it. Do not rub, you just pat. Pat over and over until it is vibrant enough. Okay, if they are not coming to play with y'all. These drugstore brands are not coming to play with y'all today. They're just not. Wow. But so that's a brush that y'all can use, being that y'all, this is discontinued. I found a substitute, a substitute for y'all. So the substitute is the e.l.f. angled blush brush. And I think it's like $3 from Walmart. Get it. Like you spend more on a wing plate, y'all. And y'all Atlanta people know y'all love wings because oh child I do too and I'm probably gonna go to Mama Me's tomorrow. This one BH Take Me to Brazil palette and use this one for contouring. Um but I'm gonna I'm gonna try the old BH one first. And I take I'm taking the middle shade, the little golden shade right here, and I'm just putting it right on top of this other shade. To kind of even myself out a little bit make it an even contour so you're just gonna dab it lightly and kind of go in the middle like dab it in the middle a little bit just so it could be an even blend because you don't want it looking a mess and i usually come up in here like right up in the center right here and then start going up my face the same shade and put it in the center of your forehead take it down the bridge of your nose and then go across your upper lip. And I put a little on my chin as well, but not a lot. Next, we're going to add blush, which I love doing. And I take the Take Me to Brazil brush number three from BH Cosmetics, and I use my e.l.f. blush palette. So I take this and I put this bottom pink shade right here across the center of my contour. And I just dab it like. Now you're going to apply hot fire. This is called Phyllis Spaces. I love, love, love this brand with every little piece of soul in me because for one, I'm a part of their um, PR team. And this is like my biggest opportunities I've had in a long time. Well, really ever. I love the owner of this brand. I love the girls, the other girls that we work with continuously. And they are so supportive. They are so fun. And it's a black-owned business. So why wouldn't you guys, you know, shop with them? So this shade of highlight is the shade Fairy Dust. Which is so, so, so pretty. I'm going to take some of my finger and put it on my arm. Um, my hand so y'all can see just to do a little swatch there we go that's how it looks y'all and it's so pretty isn't that gorgeous but now i'm gonna actually put it on my face okay there you go okay period but i take the uh highlight i'm sorry guys i was supposed to tell you this part i take the highlight and i put it right here I brush it right on the um, high part of my cheeks. I put it on the center of my nose. I also place some on my cup, at the tip of my cupid's brow, like right where my lip creases in. And I put some on my chin. And I also put some on my forehead. After I pl place the highlight on, I am gonna do a little bit to my eyes just because I wanna bring it back together. But overall, this is how I contour and highlight my face. It looks very natural. I could literally leave the house just like this and be fine. And to make sure it's um, packed down really well, Kirsten, my good friend Kirsten, and you better be subscribed to her. Help her get the 10K, y'all, because that's my heart right there. I love her so much. And tell her I sent you 
but she gave me this little tip to make sure your concealer is blended well just dab it with your finger it actually helps make sure it's very packed down even packed down and good see already this is my support belly That's my support right now. But I'm gonna take this shade that's at the top right here. That shade. And I'm gonna pack it all over my eye. Take this brown shade and I'm gonna apply it directly to my lid. But I'm gonna use the same brush because it's just a natural bit. It's just something you know, so you could just leave the house, run some errands, not nothing major. And then while you're right here in your crease, make sure you're patting it instead of just blending it because it helps to blend actually. Instead of trying to rub it back and forth, just pat it. The thing I want to show you guys is a natural lip that you can do a lip style that you can do which is taking a brown lip liner and this one is MK I believe and you're just gonna line your lips this is a Maybelline color and it's vivid liquid matte and it is in the shade 02 Great Envy. You're gonna put this in the center. But this is um, from NYX and it's the Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And I spray this all over my face. See? Look at that, y'all. This setting spray gives me life. It's actually like gives me life. But as that dries, I just want to tell you guys thank you so, so much for supporting me. One of my videos are almost at 2,000 views, and I posted it over two months ago. So for the fact, the fact that it's growing like at least 30 to 40 views every day, that's amazing to me. And I cannot thank you guys enough for that. But this is a quick little 15 minute makeup tutorial that you guys could do before you know like going to school or going on a date and I honestly love the Maybelline products that I used in this video because and this is not like a sponsor video of course but I just love 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 this like look at that thank you guys so so much Mwah. I love you I love you I love you I love you and see you in the next video